so I'm on my way to record um, Nick Cannon's new show. I'm excited about that, but I felt like I needed to come on um, and, and do the responsible thing because I kind of made a mistake yesterday with my post. Um, the message was real, right? Like we were talking about it in the comments that, you know, it's not okay for an adult to require a child to kiss them or hug them or suck their tongue or anything else, right? Um, and, but the whole thing with the Dalai Lama is really interesting because in my stories I posted last night because someone sent me this video from YouTube of a Tibetan man, very articulate, really good video. Look at my stories and you'll get the link to the YouTube channel. But basically he was explaining that in Tibet, you know, it's, a sign of love and affection and elderly kind of grit. Ooh. <laughs> I totally lost my glasses while I was talking. That was classic. And I'm not gonna edit it out because I know that will be really entertaining to you. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so he was talking about how grandparents and older people are very, you know, <laughs> teasy. That teasing is kind of a sign of affection and love and they do that to children. And that when he said, and that it's very common to put your foreheads together and a kiss on the lips is considered something platonic. It's not sexualized like it is in this culture. Now I was, I understood all that. I already knew all that. The part that I was struggling with was the tongue sucking thing. But here's the thing, there is an expression. So one of the ways older people tease is when the child asks for something like a cookie or whatever, then the grown ups say, oh, you know, you're asking for so much. You know, they kind of tease them about wanting something. It's a cultural thing. And so one of the expressions is, what, now you want to eat my tongue? Mm, you want to eat my tongue? And it's also a common sign of respect mm, to stick your tongue out. So. When he says, oh, you, he was trying to say, do you want to eat my tongue? That's the, tr that's the words in Tibetan, but he isn't great at English. And so he said, do you want to suck my tongue? But even if he said, do you want to eat my tongue? You know, that's a, it would have freaked us out, but it is a very common expression of like playfulness and affection. I get that it's weird to us. But I think the important thing to remember, and you can say that I, you know, this is and he's a pedophile and whatever else. Like, I'm not gonna argue with you about that. I don't think he is. I think he, this was relatively innocent. And, I'm, and, and I did not think that in the beginning. But what I will say is that this is just one more sign. And I felt prey to it of the deep fakes that are going on because, you know, there are people that don't want him to have so much spiritual leadership and power. And so they cut together this video to make him look horrible. And if you watch the whole video, which that video link will show you, the guy is describing, explaining all of this and I'm just explaining to you and then shows you the whole clip that was taken out of context. And that the mother's right there on stage with him. The child is asking for a hug, he's laughing. So they cut it to make him look really bad. And that's what we have to be aware of, okay? That they're, with AI, forget it. I mean, they didn't even use AI on this one. They just cut it and spliced it in a way that made him look really bad. But we're gonna, we have to be really calm and not rush to judgment and get all the facts because those who are wanting to separate us and do harm to others are gonna use us and cancel culture to do that. So just be really, really aware, be really, really careful, keep your eyes open, don't jump to conclusions, and know that on social media and just in the digital world, looks can be really deceiving, okay? That's all I gotta say.